Hi there, today we're going to work on installing a personal Wikipedia. One of the great things about uh, Wikipedia is that it's just a huge knowledge re repository. Um, but what if you wanted to have your own uh, Wikipedia that you, you know, had on your own computer uh, where you, you know, uh, you know, journaled about your life or you know kept all your information about uh, you know uh, programming or or whatever it's great to have something like this on your own computer so I'm gonna install a, a, a personal Wikipedia um, on this computer right here I'm gonna go through the steps on how to do this uh, so to, to back up uh, it's important to understand exactly how this works um, we're gonna be installing something called WAMP and we're also gonna be installing uh, something called Wikimedia uh, WAMP is just an acronym stands for Windows uh, we're installing uh, all this stuff on Windows. Also stands for uh, Apache Server. That's the A there. Apache Server is just a, a, a program that allows your computer to be a server so it can host uh, applications uh, that work with the web. Uh, we're going to work with a database. Um, uh, the type of the da database that we're going to work with is called MySQL. And then we're going to work with uh, um, a uh, scripting language called PHP which uh, allows um, it works with a database to produce web pages. One of the things that most people don't realize is that whenever you go to Wikipedia, you know, there there's not just, you know, uh, there's not a, a web page totally de devoted to, um, let's say, uh, you know, apes. Um, there's a database entry for apes, and what PHP does, so it's, PHP grabs uh, the 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 database, the table information for you know all the stuff that people have entered about apes, and then it turns that into a web page and displays it to the user. Uh, if you don't understand that, it's okay because this part's going to install itself, uh, and then um, we're going to install Wikimedia, which is uh, basically the the, the program uh, that that runs Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia is a Wikimedia um, application. All right, so uh, to do this, uh, I'm going to give a website called Lifehacker full credit um, because they are the ones that put this information out there. I'm just going to go to Google, uh, type in personal Wikimedia, and the first thing that comes up it says uh, Geek to Live. Set up your personal Wikimedia. I'm going to click on this link. And uh, this wonderful lady, her name is Gina uh, Trapani, she's already uh, given us all of the instructions that we need to to to, to go through to uh, install this uh, personal Wikimedia, Wikipedia on our computer. And it's all right here. Uh, these instructions are a little bit uh, out of date. This was done back in 2006, but uh, the, the date that I'm doing this is uh, March 18th, 2010, and we're going to um, pretty much just follow everything that she's done step by step. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is uh, we're going to go out and we're going to grab the WAMP server software, um, uh, so we, and we're going to install that on the computer. So I'm going to open up a new uh, 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 tab here. I'm going to type in WAMP server and uh, here it is. Install PHP blah 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 blah. So I'm going to click on this WAMP server and uh, over here you're going to have uh, this uh, link right here WAMP server 2.0. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to uh, click on download WAMP server. So this will download and I'm going to wait for this to install uh, to download and then I'm going to install it. Okay, so WAMP server has uh, downloaded. Now I'm going to double click on this to install it. I'm going to click on Run. Say yes. So welcome to WAMP server 2 setup wizard. I'm going to click on uh, Next. Accept the agreement. Click on Next. And it's going to want to install directly to your C drive. That's fine. C WAMP. That's what you want. And uh, we're going to click a, yes, create a desktop icon. And yes, 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 install. So right before WAMP finishes installing, it's going to ask you for your default browser. Just tell it Explorer. That's fine. You might get something like this that comes up Windows, Windows Firewall has blocked some features. Just uh, say allow attach, a, Apache HTTP server to communicate on these networks, private networks such as your home or your work network. And the reason that we're doing this is so we can run it at home. So we say allow uh, access. And this will come up. Just leave this as localhost and email. Uh, you can just leave it as you at, you, you at your domain. Click Next. And completing a launch WAMP server 2 now. So let's click on Finish. Say Yes. And you'll notice what happens is down here in our taskbar, we now have this guy right here, WAMP server, server offline. We're going to click on him. And uh, if it's already started, I'm going to click on Stop All Services. You'll see this little red button. I'm going to go ahead and click on Start All Services and you'll notice that it turns to all, all white. So what I can do now, 
uh, we've turned our computer into a, um, a server so what you can do is you can actually go to your web browser type in HTTP type local host and now uh, you can actually access the uh, control panel for your server and here it is WAMP server um, so you've got a few things right here one's called PHP my admin I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna go to privileges and uh, you're gonna have a few users here I would get rid of this root right here that says 127 get rid of this get rid of this click on those and then go down here and say remove selected users let's click go okay so now we only have uh, this user we're gonna come over here to this guy right here we're gonna say edit privileges and we're gonna scroll down and right here where it says change password we're gonna change the password I'm gonna be really horrible here and I'm gonna uh, call my my password root R O O T you never ever want to do this because usually with uh, with with servers you always have a master user that's called root you never want to give it the password root but I'm gonna be horrible here so root R O O T and password hashing blah 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 blah, blah. let's click on go and now our password should be root and we're good I'm gonna go back to where it says databases here and MySQL says yes so now we've got a problem because it doesn't recognize what we're doing so we've got to go and we got to change uh, uh, one of the uh, the things for our um, our PHP stuff here so let's go ahead and minimize this and you're gonna to go to my computer you're gonna to go to C let's go to WAMP and inside I think it's apps PHP my admin you've got this file on here called config inc.php you have to right click this say edit and in here uh, let's go cancel here in here you've got this one line right here where it's looking for the password we're gonna type root and we're gonna save now when I go back to this screen if I do a refresh now we're good we're back in because uh, we, we changed the password and then we had to go ahead and alter that file so now we're back in okay so we've got this set up let's go ahead and let's uh, install media wiki you can just do a google search for media wiki and it will take you to the media wiki website here on the media wiki website you're gonna have the download section just click on download and we're going to say download MediaWiki 1.15.2 or whatever versions out there. So this will download. Once this downloads, um, it's going to be saved as a tar.gz. Uh, so uh, basically, these are nothing more than zip files. And if you have a program like um, 7-Zip, you can un, uh, you can extract these files. You're going to have to extract them twice. <laughs> the first time, uh, you know, it, you'll extract the the gz. Uh, file and then you have to come in here and you have to extract the .tar file so we're gonna say uh, let's say 7-zip and um, extract to okay so here we are so here's here's the file that I need now so I've clicked in here and notice there's a bunch of stuff in here I'm gonna rename this to crow wiki and I'm going to then cop I'm gonna move this I'm just gonna cut this folder and I'm gonna to go to my WAMP folder on the C drive so we've got WAMP right here inside WAMP you've got www just double click this and then paste this folder uh, right here so we extracted everything I renamed this folder right here crow wiki and now it's uh, inside this www um, uh, folder. So now all you have to do is just uh, open up a browser. Let me close this, and um, I'm going to go localhost. And all you should have to do is type HTTP localhost crow wiki or whatever you decided to name it. Click enter, and now you're at the uh, media wiki setup screen.